Well, good afternoon, and it's Pastor Hayton here with another Lower Lights devotional. You know, a lot of times we make excuses, don't we? There's something that needs to be done, and we're just not motivated in that direction while well, we try to find an excuse not to do it. I know my wife always has what we call a honeydew list. All of you guys know what that honeydew list is, and it's just things that need to be done around the house, and and uh, we know the honeydew list, and we know it well, and we know what needs to be done, and we admit that indeed it does need to be done. But if we don't want to do it right then, well, we find an excuse not to do it. There's always something that we can come up with to, to delay uh, doing anything that needs to be done. And so we try to make excuses a lot of times, and uh, these excuses, they can be used for any variety of situations. If you don't want to go to church, you can generally find an excuse to excuse yourself from church. Ernie Trotter, the old Irish preacher that a lot of us loved and admired, used to tell the story about the two guys that were sitting out on the riverbank outside the little village where they lived one Sunday morning. And uh, they were sitting out there with their fishing poles and the lines baited and out in the water. And as they sat there relaxing in the, in the beautiful day and uh, trying to enjoy their fishing, they heard the church bell ring. And one looked at the other and he said, you know, we really should be in church today. The other guy pondered a moment and then he thought, well, I don't feel so bad. I couldn't have gone anyway. My wife has a headache. Well, that was an excuse that he thought would work to excuse him from the house of God. Well, that's rather ridiculous, isn't it? But you know, a lot of our excuses are just as ridiculous. We come up with some of the excuses that uh, really, you know, just don't really uh, hold water. A lot of excuses that we use, uh, that's all it is. It's just something to get us out of doing what we ought to do or uh, getting the job done that needs to be done. I think of a lot of excuses and a lot of times I'm able to say, well, I'm just tired. Well, it seems like I'm tired all the time anymore. So if I use that excuse, I'll never get anything done. Other times I use the excuse that I've got something more important to do. And uh, sometimes that may be true. Other times I may just think there's something more important to do. But that's just an idea of how we make excuse sometime. The things that we use for excuses. Well, you know, excusing ourselves from getting the honeydew list done or even excusing ourselves from being faithful in worship isn't as bad as excusing ourselves from the kingdom of God. And there are a lot of people today that know that they need to be saved. They know that they need to get right with God. They need to repent of their sin. They need to begin serving the Lord. And yet they make excuse. You know, Paul was dealing with Felix there in the New Testament. And and uh, had him right to the point of accepting Christ as Savior. But he said, when I have a more convenient time, I will call upon you. And so he excused himself from accepting Christ, thinking that there was something that was more important to be done. It just wasn't the time to do it. And I don't want anybody that's sitting there today that may not uh, be right with God to make an excuse why you don't get right with God. I don't want anybody that's sitting listening to me today that has some business to do with God that is putting it off because of something else that you think is more important at the time. There's nothing more important than surrendering heart and life to God, and we certainly don't want to make an excuse for doing that. Heavenly Father, we make a lot of excuses to get out of a lot of things. But wait, may we not find excuse, Lord, to stay out of the kingdom of God, for it's so important that we repent, that we turn to Christ, and that we follow you. So may we never excuse ourselves, Lord, with the uh, uh, excuses that so many use. Now bless us throughout this day and on down throughout our life. In Christ's name, amen. Well, don't go out there and make an excuse for spiritual matters now. Take care of them.
Goodbye now.